Welcome back to our channel. On today's video, you're going to learn how to install ceiling balloons on a tent like this. And we're going to give you some tips on the things that you need to look for when you're doing ceiling balloons. Typically, we like to use the uh, common air to blow up our three footers. Um, however, since we're doing so many on these two tents here, um, typically for a job this size where we have so many three quarters to inflate, we like to use a shop vac. The smallest one that you can find is good enough. Um, you use the exhaust part, so this is what sucks in, and you have the exhaust coming out, so you attach your hose to the exhaust and you use that to inflate your balloons. And what, what does that do? This does not overheat. This one could overheat with so many three footers that you're doing in one day, or basically just a few hours. So we're gonna inflate with a vacuum. And it's super fast. Takes just a few seconds. The, there's, there's a difference in noise. Listen to this. Compared to compared to this. It's like being in your living room. That's all you do. So this is, this is vinyl, right? And what we did, we used the fish line that we always use, the 40 pound test. And we used two pieces of uh, duct tape. One is white and the other one is black. The, the, the bottom one doesn't really matter, but as long as the, the, the one outside or the one on top matches the, the tent material, um, you should be fine. In this case, we used the white and the black. So in the black, what we did was, we ran a loop around it with the fishing line. So that's what's holding the, the actual fishing line. And this one, the white one we use to, to give it that extra fastening uh, stickiness to the actual vinyl on the tent. Now, we're actually taking these down now, uh, but we hung these up three days ago. And they're still, with all the wind, they're still flapping around, but not falling. So duct tape that's the way to go as i mentioned on the previous clip we were tearing down at that point in time but here's a quick look at what we did that day you can see that we're using two step ladders one of them is a 10 foot ladder and the other one is an eight foot ladder we weren't able to reach the peak but we got close enough to where we could we were able to spread the uh, balloons uh, around evenly speaking of the ladders the day that we actually pulled these balloons down uh, it was pretty windy that day and we were on the highway and the wind was able to lift the ladders and the rack off of our van and fell um, while we were doing 100 kilometers per hour. Per hour. Uh, and there was a semi that was uh, driving right behind us and he drove right over the ladders. But thank God nothing major happened, no major accidents. We were able to replace the ladders. There was no damage to any of the vehicles, whether ours or the truck that drove over the ladders and everybody was safe. But just wanted to let you guys know that. I still remember this job like it was yesterday. You know why? Because we had no idea how we were going to do it. We had different things prepared and we normally test things ahead of time, but we were not going to rent a $2,000, $10,000 tent just to test it, right? So we had different things prepared for this and I'm so glad this one worked. And I remember recording the video and thinking of you um, and saying someday somebody's gonna benefit from this and I'm glad you watched this video, thank you. Now I'm just gonna go over a few things that you need to um, look up for or think about when you get this type, of, this type of increase for your own business. Number one is how high the ceiling is. That is probably the most critical one because normally in your business you would have um, six feet ladder um, so if it's not if you're not gonna be using magnets then um, you can you need to be able to reach uh, the top like we did in this video right so if you need to go out and buy 
a taller ladder for this job, then you need to take that into account. You're not gonna apply the entire cost to this one job, but a portion of it, right? Also, the, the new ladder doesn't fit in your car, or now you need to rent a car uh, to be able to fit the ladder that you just bought for this job. The next thing is how many balloons and the setup time. If you have an entire day to set up, it's perfectly fine. You can do 100 balloons. But if the client says, I only have two hours set up time and they want 50 balloons, is different than if she needs 50 balloons in a five hour set up time, right? Like if you can go in the morning, the event is at three in the afternoon, you can go by yourself or with, just with another person. But if you only have two hours or if you only have one hour, an hour and a half, and you don't have a lot of help, then you're gonna be in trouble. You're not gonna be able to have enough time to finish. The other thing that's very important is when you're setting up, try to be the first one to set up. So uh, before furniture, before the tables are set up, before all the chairs are in place, because then you're gonna find yourself moving things around the room, and that is just gonna take a lot of your time. And going up and down the ladder takes a lot of time, trust me. It's different when you need to work against the wall than when you need to work in the ceiling. It's a lot different, okay? Just make sure that uh, also you're gonna be able to hang the balloons, right? Um, the easiest one is when it's metal and then you just use uh, the pole and magnets and, it's, and you can just take that with that pole system. If you are in the balloon business, most likely you know that system. If you don't know, if you don't know that system, comment down below. I make, I, I, I might make another video showing you that. But um, if it's aluminum, the magnets are not going to stick. You know that. So you have to make sure that you go out and test it. Okay. So the day the site visit, um, you go, you you bring your pole, you bring your magnets, you stick one. Make sure that sticks in different parts of the room. Um, just to get it out of the way. If it doesn't, then you need to look for an alternative. How else can you hang it? Um, we did balloons on a wooden wall. I'm gonna put some up, um, on a wooden ceiling. I'm gonna put a picture here so you can see it. And we had to go up all the way to the ceiling and hang it from the ceiling as well. That one took the entire day. Aside from that, it's a pretty easy installation. Once you know for sure that you actually can hang the balloons, that you're gonna be able to reach, and that you have enough time. So those are the three most important things. Aside from that, just your, um, your price, we charge $55, $60, depending on how many balloons and the overall work and the overall client, but that's our price range for those type of um, for those type of balloons. So let me know in the comments down below um, How much would you charge? Let me know if you like this video Let me know what other videos you want to see from us and as always remember to like and subscribe It really helps our channel and motivate this um, Young couple <laughs> to make more videos. Thank you so much for watching again. We appreciate your time and I'll see you next time. Peace